My name is Rob Mulvaney. I'm a senior manager in our Agile Transformation Office at Lumen. I uh, want to share part of our journey today and our Agile at Scale and the use of the Atlassian products. Over the past three and a half years, we've been on a journey transitioning from a waterfall uh, mentality to really a single framework, the, sca the Scaled Agile Framework. Uh, within this Scaled Agile Framework, uh, we have been very consistent in our standardization across our tool set. We have been using a single platform for our tool set, and that is the Atlassian Cloud products, specifically Jira Software, Confluence, and Jira Service Management. Our current transformation includes over nine value streams, 90 plus release trains, and hundreds of teams. From an individual perspective, we're talking more than 5,500 people a part of this transformation. When thinking about a scale of a transformation at this size, keeping a context and a standardization of the language has been very key. That's why we've aligned and planned around our strategic goals showcased by this pyramid slide that allows all of us to talk within the same context and framework. Specifically at the highest top of the pyramid is our portfolio epic. As you see on the pyramid, it works its way down from a portfolio epic all the way down through a capability, an epic feature, a user story, and then also a task. This is a story of decomposition, both defined by the roles that are visible at each layer of the process, as well as a time horizon. Specifically at Lumen, we use a 90-day planning cadence period. This cadence allows us to meet on a quarterly basis to align around what is the value the teams will be delivering over that particular period of time. During that 90-day cadence, we use a two-week sprint. During those sprint planning sessions, the teams are aligning around consistent terminology about their capabilities, their features, their user stories that they're planning to deliver. This slide showcases both the portfolio epic, the capability, and the feature all the way down to the task. On this slide, we showcase on the left-hand side the Lumen use of the hierarchy, as well as the, the JIRA software naming convention on the right-hand side. We start with the portfolio epic at the top. The portfolio epic is what the plan to deliver in over a year period of time. Within our transformation, we use primarily two portfolio projects. We have an enterprise portfolio and a consumer portfolio. All portfolio epics live within one of these two portfolio projects. A child to that is the capability. The portfolio epic has then been decomposed into capabilities that will be delivered over one or multiple PIs. Knowing that a PI is about 90 days, the portfolio epic is decomposed down into multiple capabilities. These are delivered at the value stream level. Our value stream projects in Jira software are named specifically with a specific naming convention and abbreviation. This is important for context and understanding within our whole group so that when teams come into JIRA software, they're able to quickly identify which project the work is associated based upon the naming convention. That naming convention in JIRA software continues down to the release train level, otherwise known as the art. At the art level is where the features live. The features are the children to the capability. Features are something or an issue type that would be planned and delivered over a 90-day period. The release trains take on the naming convention of their parent. So you will have the a naming convention of the value stream abbreviations, then with the agile release train as the suffix. Finally, our teams deliver their work in the release train under a specific sprint board. Our user stories are completed during a 90, uh, day planning period known as the sprints, usually six sprints per PI planning schedule. As we transition into JIRA software, there are multiple projects created. At the portfolio level, all projects have the same workflow. We start our workflow at the funnel level, moving left or right from funnel, review, analyzing, approved, implementing, and done. These milestones provide a consistent standardization for all portfolio epics. The ideation occurs at the funnel, then they transition left to right in, across the workflow. 
This is the same for both a capability and a feature. So as work enters into the pipeline, all work starts within a funnel and moves left to right. At the capability level, there are now seven steps along the workflow. Funnel, reviewing, analyzing, implementing, validating, deploying, releasing, and done. One of the consistent practices that the teams have been uh, encouraged to adopt is having unified measures in which we plan and report on. So when we think about capability throughput, when we think about feature throughput, scope change, lead and cycle time, all of the measurements are consistent because the workflows are the same. So when we think about lead and cycle time, we are managing from the time the work enters into the funnel until it is done. Cycle time is measured from work when it enters into implementing all the way through done. Our Agile Release Train Board has a similar workflow to the capability. As you can see, it moves from the left to right, the funnel, analyzing, approved, implementing, validating, deploying, releasing, and done. One of the benefits of having a consistent workflow is allowing from a reporting perspective. There are the standard reports that we use across the teams, including capability and feature work put, uh, capability and feature throughput, scope change, lead and cycle time. By having all of the teams use the same workflow, measurements and reporting is consistent as well. We're able to measure both lead time consistently from the time the work entered the funnel till it was done. Likewise, cycle time is measured from the time it moves into implementing until it is completed. When there are 90 release trains and hundreds of teams, being able to have a common framework for reporting is benefited by using Jira software and that consistent workflow. We've been very happy with our Agile success using the Atlassian products and being able to standardize best practices across our teams by having a similar structure within Jira software. Likewise, we've leveraged Jira service management and Jira work management for additional collaboration between the software development teams and our business teams. We've also been able to communicate and document OKRs or objectives and key results in Confluence pages to better keep teams aligned across the big picture goals. Um, we appreciate the partnership and the opportunity to continue to work with Atlassian and their overall maturation of their cloud products.